Hi everyone. Welcome to this tutorial of how to create a real-time search in Excel and Excel VBA in just writing a few lines of code. This tutorial will help you create a dynamic search for your Excel tables. Imagine having a large data set in Excel and needing to quickly find specific information. Manually searching through rows and columns can be time-consuming and inefficient. Real-time search provides a dynamic and efficient way to filter and locate data instantly. Before we start, please click subscribe to watch more useful videos. Let's get started. First of all, you should have a table with your data information. Then select your table to convert your table to a table type. After select the table, on your keyboard, click Ctrl T to convert your table. The Create Table dialog will show up. Check on My Table Has Headers, then click OK. Go to Table Design tab, then rename your table. Click on Developer tab to add a text box. If you can't find the Developer tab on your ribbon, then you can add it. Click on File, then click More and choose Options. On Excel Options dialog, click on Customize Ribbon. On the right side, you will see the Developer, then click on the box to check it. Then click OK. Then you will see the Developer tab show up on your ribbon. On Developer tab, Click on Insert to add a text box. Under ActiveX Controls, choose S Text Box. Drag down to draw your text box on your worksheet. After drawing your text box, go to Properties to change something. You can change your text box name. Link your text box to a cell in your worksheet. In this case, I link it to cell D2. Now, close the design mode to test the text box. It works perfectly. Now turn on the design mode to customize your text box. Now we are going to write the code to the text box to filter the data in the table. You can click on View Code under the Properties or double-click on the text box to view VBA application. Microsoft Visual Basic for application will show up with the starting and ending code lines. Now write this code.
So the list object is your table name. If you want to see your table name, go to your table and put your cursor in your table and go to table design, then you will see your table name on the top left. Return to your code and continue your coding, then put your table name in the brackets. In field number, put the number of field you want to search. In criteria 1, put your link cell in. If you want to see where your link cell is, go to your table then click on design mode and click on your text box then go to properties and look for link cell. Now run your code to test the text box. Great! It worked perfectly. Type something else to test your search box. Now start customizing your search box to make it more interesting. It looks great now. Type something to test your search box again to make sure it works petty well. Now you can change your typing font and font size to make it more beautiful. Select your text box, click on Design tab, then click Properties. Now you can edit your font and font size to what you want.
When everything is finished, don't forget to save your work. Click on File, then click on Save or Save As. Choose where you want to save your work. Rename your file. In Save as Type, choose Excel Macro Enabled Workbook. This file type is allowed you to use the VBA code. Then click Save. Thank you for watching. Hope this video is helpful. If you find this video is useful, please hit subscribe to watch more videos.